Welcome back everybody to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly insert Ferrari Co tanks into your Roblox game and I will be posting links of the tanks in the description for you to take for free. Anyways guys it's going to be a short tutorial but stick around until the end of the video to, to know exactly what to do and have the tanks working in your game. Now before we start the video please consider subscribing it would mean the world to me if you guys subscribe remember to leave a like on the video so anyways let's get back to the tutorial ferrari code is probably the best tank system on roblox you cannot miss this it's like the new wave on roblox basically it used to be wolf and chan but now ferrari Co is like taking over so you should definitely consider trying ferrari Co in your games or Whenever, wherever you want. Um, I, I, I found out about it about a few months ago and it's just such a nice system. Considering I got this all for free, you guys should be able to get it for free in the description. And here's my tutorial on how to set them up. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go up here to game settings under the home tab, click on game settings. And I already have my game published and set to R6, but normally it would pop up a page saying publish game to access game settings. Then you would have to publish a game it's really easy to do. Anyways, so once you've published it, go back to game settings again, then go down all the way to avatar, and then set your avatar type to R6, just like that. Once you've done that, once you've done that, now we're gonna insert in the Ferrari Co models. So I'm gonna go for, uh, from my toolbox here, find a random model. There we go, here's a random tank that I have, and here's a second one. All right, so here they're both spawned in. And as you see, they're just sitting here and you'll have these floating things and you'll have, yeah, few flo floating items, pretty easy. It's kind of confusing for now, but all you gotta do is just put them in and set your avatar type to R6. So content, you don't have to touch any of this. Installer basically it means it would install it for your, like it will automatically install everything. So you won't have to do anything, just insert it into your game, put your avatar type to R6, and it would work. So right now I'm gonna be demonstrating how to operate these tanks and and how to use the tools around it and the fuel and whatnot. So we're gonna go here and test out the game. We're gonna spawn at this little platform here. And basically where it says this, where you have this little dot thing, here's where you're gonna have to spawn the tank. So we're gonna click on it. And then from here, you can put in any text you want on the tank. So we'll put subscribe to Lucas, because you guys should subscribe. And you can put an image ID too. Basically, you would have to go from a, to get it from a Roblox texture or a Roblox decal. So we'll leave it like that for now. And you can also choose the texture of your tank. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But anyways, here it also has a description for the tank, which is really nice. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and spawn in the tank by clicking here, spawn. Alright, so this tank is kind of broken. I don't know why it doesn't work. But um, unfortunately, this one isn't working, so I'm going to have to try this one. Kind of a speed bump in my video there. So we're going to try the exact same one, but different tank. Okay, we'll spawn it in, and now it should work. Alright, well, that doesn't work, I guess. Sorry for that. Alright, so my bad, guys. I basically used the wrong tank that messed up the system. Anyways, we're back with two other tanks that should work. So we're going to spawn in this one. So here, if you see, if I click on the hatchet, it opens automatically. Just like that. It has a nice little open animation, too, which I love. And then once you get into one of the seats, it's going to give you a tool. And then from there, you can open the tool and you'll see this little GUI coming up. When you start clicking, your gun will fire. Just like that. And if you want to change the views, go click F. And then you'll be put into first person and the aim will be easier. So yeah, that's literally the gun, and it's just so so good. Now we're gonna chain, uh, we're gonna test out the uh, the gunner. I'm gonna test out like the gunner from inside of the tank. So 
Same, same idea, basically. The gunner that's inside the tank can also shoot cannons. They can also, uh, to find how far your, your target is, click X. You hold X and it will basically tell you by under, like next to range, how far it is in studs. Yeah, amazing system, amazing, amazing system. Anyways, now we're gonna try to test out the driver's seat. If I can get out of this seat, okay. And then, now we're gonna, okay, so we're gonna open the driver's seat hatchet. All right, so we're gonna click the red button to put it in start, just like that. And then the lever that you have right here on your right, when you click that, it puts you in park and it puts you out of park. So if you wanna park your vehicle, click on that. And now we're gonna test it to drive, we're gonna drive it and test it. So yeah, if we put it in gear by pressing E, we start going forward. Just like that. So yeah, the system is just com so amazing, works awesomely, and it's just so OP. Um, it's usually a two, three seat crew, so you'll need three people to op to operate it at its finest. Um, one person works, but two people should be sufficient, and three people is just even better. There we go. Now we're gonna test out how it works against terrain. There we go. It's really smooth, really amazing how it works. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Anyways guys, that was it. That was the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, links of the links of the models will be in the description. Remember to just like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.